welcome to our first project. We are going to be making fish claw. See this one? My favorite one. It's very, very faded because I've used it several times. I couldn't even tell you what the original colors were, but really super easy. It is um, a fast, it's a quick knit, so it's not like you're waiting for a very long time to finish your first project. And I'm making this very simple dishcloth. Let me see if I can get a close up. In making this very simple dishcloth, you're going to learn how to cast on, knit, uh, knit the garter stitch, and cast off. And all you need is yarn, needles, and scissors. And here's the cool thing. If you're interested in knitting your very first, very first, very simple dishcloth with me on this journey, I'm willing to send you yarn and the needle. Now I have two different colors of yarn. I'm suggesting um, that if you want to follow along to get your own colors, that you get Lily's, the original sugar and cream. It's 100% grown in USA cotton. It is the best thing um, to use to make a fish cloth. So I have two colors to choose from. One of my kids had pulled the packaging off of this one and it has a little bit of a rip in it. But anyway, I don't know if you can tell this color is really great spring colors. It's actually called guacamole and it's self-striping which means the yarn um, moves from like a white to a khaki color to a lime green to a dark green to a light green and then back to the white again. And um, so I have guacamole you want guacamole, leave me a message down below in the comments and say, mm -hmm, I, want, I want to follow you and I want guacamole. Well, I want the color guacamole. The other color I have is called Pastel Delight. It's also self-striping. It looks like it goes from a yellow creamy color to a light pink to a peach to a light greenish blue. Here it is up close. I wish I could see if you could get a good close-up of it, but anyway. Here's the two colors. We are going to be using, and if you don't want to um, have me send you the stuff, that's fine, but Lily's, the original sugar and cream, is it's, it's the best uh, yarn to use for a dishcloth, and it's really inexpensive. This, I think, was like a dollar and change. I don't know if it was a dollar, you know, 19 or a dollar, at the most, a dollar 77. It shouldn't cost you more than two dollars for, let's see how many yards? 95 yards of self striping, 100% grown in USA cotton. And the knitting needles we're going to use are size 8, let's see, size 8 or 5mm. I'm not sure what the mm stands for. Sorry, I guess we can find out and let you know. This is how big it is. It's not too small, not too big. And scissors. At the dollar store, um, I got this crazy kit a family member at the dollar store sewing kit and it has these cute little scissors. Um, use any scissors you want. I'm not going to send you scissors. That sounds like a dangerous thing to do. But I will, I am interested in sending you needles. I don't know if I'll send you mine or if I'll buy you, maybe I'll buy new ones. They come in really pretty colors. So you will need size 8, US size 8, needles, and yarn. And if you're interested in making your very first fish cloth, leave a comment down below and tell me that you are and tell me if you've ever knit before. Um, and let me know too if you want the guacamole color or what did I call this? What did they say this was? Pastel Delight. Myself, I'm going to be using this crazy pinkish orange yellow color. I forget what it's called. I have a feeling it's called pink lemonade or something like that. So that's the color I'm going to be using. And this company makes so many different colors. So if you're interested, um, AC Moore always carries it, um, Michaels always carries it, I think even Walmart might carry it. Go to your local yarn stores, support them too. Um, as a beginner, I would start off with a big box store because it's going to be cheaper. So anyway, I hope you're excited. We're going to be knitting the Until next time.